so hey everyone i hope you all are doing well so this video i'm recording it for the second time so what happened after recording this video for 16 minutes i got a notification in my camera that the memory is full so i have to re-record it okay i don't know how that clip is also got deleted so i'm restarting it let's start so today i'm gonna show you exactly the roadmap to learn clinical sas along with the tracker along with device along with hours and each and everything syllabus content each and everything so this video whoever is planning to go for clinical sas role or to learn clinical sas this video gonna help them because each and everything i'm covering here so guys you can see this tracker day one day one you have to go through introduction in introduction you can go through introduction of sas introduction to data analysis languages like sas r and python installation and access of sas software if you are not having sas software access then sas windows you know four windows are there coding output log and result data types in sas you basically know that data types are me data types in sas character numeric date and time and special character mostly you gonna deal with these data library and its types you know permanent and temporary library is there so these are the things you should finish on day one of learning and it will usually take two hours but it can take more than two hours as well guys at the end of the video i'll tell you about revision hours as well and solving question hours as well here we have given the time two hours only because i believe in a day you can efficiently or effectively give two hours only after giving more than two or three hours you will start feeling bored okay so do not give four to five hours in a day or else you will start feeling bored in the beginning now let's continue let's move to day two day two you can do input methods and in that you can do list input column formatted named and modifiers modifiers are nothing but you can use colon symbol you can use and symbol and many other symbols to smoothly create your data if you are facing any difficulties so again i'm assuming this will also take two hours then let's move to day three you can do in file statement i'm not reading all the contents name and again this is gonna take two hours day four you can do character functions again two hours day five concatenation functions and method of selecting variable you know there are multiple ways you can select variable the very first and simplest way is by mentioning each of the variable name the second is mentioning the range the third is you can mention double hyphen if it is not in range the fourth is you can mention off and colon symbol as well to select in a pattern you can mention the first letter of the variable or two three letter of variable and it will select the variable with those letters now let's continue day six you can do numeric and mathematical functions again all the names of the content is written like which numeric function you have to do again it can take up to two hours or more than that day seven date functions day eight converting variable type and this is very important because a lot of people get confused in this and this is very important as well day nine operators day 10 statement and options day 11 conditional statement conditional statement we have divided into two days day 11 and 12 if you feel you can do in one day that is also fine but i believe if you give two day that will be great for you because if you are giving more time okay in a single day you will start feeling bored after some time right that's the thing day 13 importing and exporting of data day 14 combining day 14 you can do combining data set like vertically and horizontally using set and merge and again i have given in a default manner two hours for each how you gonna utilize these hours for practice and uh, question solving so at then i'm gonna tell you the additional hours for practice and solving questions let's continue this one as of now day 15 pdv and this is also important day 16 do loop see all the topics i have written all the topics are important so don't skip it if you are learning day 17 array day 18 proc steps proc steps again we have divided into two days okay if you feel in one day you can do it give it a try and do it but i feel two days is more than enough or better day 20 you can do sql and these are the contents you can do in sql on day 20 day 21 you can do sql joins day 22 macro and then let's move to clinical sas day 23 you can do clinical trial phases day 24 you can do protocol crf and icf so when i'm saying protocol crf and icf you have to just go through it for the introduction only not in depth okay you'll see what is protocol crf and icf 
डे ट्वेंटी फाइव इंट्रोडक्शन टू एस डी एम आई जी अगेन यू शुड गिव टू अवर्स और मोर देन दैट डे ट्वेंटी सिक्स एडम आई जी डे ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन यू हैव टू क्रिएट वन डेटा सेट एंड दैट इज डी एम यू कैन गिव थ्री डेज एंड यू कैन गिव टू अवर्स इन ईच डे डे थर्टी थर्टी वन एंड थर्टी टू यू कैन क्रिएट एडम डेटा सेट अगेन टू अवर्स ईच डे नाउ हियर कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन शुड यू क्रिएट मल्टीपल डेटा सेट और वन डेटा सेट इज इनफ इन ईच सी If you are creating one data set, that is fine, but give more time to the SDM and Adam IG because IG will, because IG document will give you the clarity what exactly the data is and how we are modifying the data. Day 33 and 34, you can create one table. Day 35 and 36, one listing. Now these are the additional activities we do because uh, this is our like kind of syllabus for our clinical study academy for my training. So we do 10 sessions for communication building. In your case, let's suppose 10 sessions you have done X, Y, Z, or you have watched, or you have spent some extra hours. And 10 sessions we have for test. So again, uh, for you also, I'll tell you. Then we have five sessions for mock interviews and interview preparation. two sessions for cv making one session for how to effectively apply for jobs using linkedin two sessions for bss exam preparation and uh, doubt discussion any day we take it every second day and every friday as well we have doubt discussion then we have one session for how to approach and write mail and text to hrs and like anyone and then i have a uh, after training guidance in that i do provide support to students till the time they get placed now talking about you guys the hours and day i have mentioned will you able to complete in these hours and days timings can be or days can be different here i am assuming to total sessions it can take 90 total hours it can take up to 140 let's suppose the time and days it can increase Here is the one column learning time. After that, you can create another column practicing time, and you can give additional two two hours for each of the topic. Then you can create one more column question solving, and you can give additional two two hours for each of the topic. Okay, so for that you that additional two hours you reserve for solving some of the questions. Now, guys, in real time, if you follow this pattern along with the day wise. you should easily able to complete the entire syllabus within 3 to 4 months but see if you are not consistent no one gonna help you but if you are consistent if you follow this pattern surely you gonna master the clinical sas within 3 to 4 months you can crack any of the interview so guys if you have any more questions you can ask me in the comments if you want to connect me related to training or any other doubts you can connect me through one to one counseling session so that's all for today guys let's meet in the next video till the time bye bye everyone